Okay, this model is the King Coil Lancaster. And cutting it open on the inside. First thing you notice is that the inner spring unit's a banal. This is a, I think, a four year old bed. People said they paid a little over a thousand bucks for it. Um, edge support are these little polystyrene pieces. And uh, they're placed about every three or four springs on the inside here. Base foam. It's a pretty dense piece of poly right there. And then on top of the spring unit, you've got a, for your barrier, you've got a fiber pad, a pretty basic fiber pad right here. Uh, no wonder why they said things are compacting in, they felt. Then on top of that, we have a denser piece of foam, not as dense as the base foam. And then a pretty soft piece of foam right here. None of this is glued. This is just laid on top. This is all perimeter cut. Nothing is hog ringed. Nothing is secured. So that's your deeper upholstery layers. And then your pillow top panel right here, if we cut that open. Your bottom layer is a softer piece, more like this piece right here. And that is glued to the top pillow top. And there's just one layer um, in the pillow top, one layer of foam right there. And then in the actual quilt panel right here, you've got a convoluted and then a thin piece of poly, then your FR fiber. Um, so not much going on. They complained about body impressions. He was sort of a big guy, and you can see why. It is not, it's got to impress with a convoluted lower density, lower density, and then a Benel spring unit with a fiber pad on top. I mean, you're just, you're just asking for it to body impress. They did still have the border rod, which is good. The box unit was a, I would say a mid-grade semi-flex, not real heavy duty, but not cheap. But for $1,000, you'd expect a lot more.